We have quite a delay working I here, but we'll do the best we can. Three Jerry Rice and Michael Irvin are the NFL only two. Team. Yeah. Uh, Michael Irvin joins us here. Sorry that we had that little miscommunication. There's our old friend Michael Irvin, who was part of NFL <laughs> Network's broadcast of the NFL Draft. They'll be there next Thursday, as we will, and we're looking forward to that. All right, Michael. So I, I want you to hear what Jerry Jones said to <laughs> Kyle Pitts the other day when the two of them were talking on this on this on this you know, virtual telecast here thing. I want you to hear what Jerry had to say to Kyle Pitts. Let's play that. I'm excited to uh, uh, have you come into this league, and uh, man, I, what a uh, pair up we could do with old Dak Prescott. Some of those guys that we've got out there of options to get you the ball, so we can dream of visions of sugar plums around here. Okay, and as Damian Woody is with us as well, what do you think, Michael Irvin, of the possibility that Jerry Jones could trade up and try and get Kyle Pitts for the Cowboys? Listen, for what that kid is, I mean, he's a phenomenal, phenomenal talent. He's really a, a wide receiver playing the tight end position. And a guy that, you know, when I study him, he talks about how much he, want, he loves learning, all, all the, the nuances of blocking and everything. The kid feels, seems like he really wants to be great. It would be insane to have him. You know, as much as Dallas needs, as much defense as they need, it would be insane to have them. And I heard you guys earlier talk about there's not enough balls to go around. It, 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 may not, it may be true in some sense, but this kid will be up the pecking order if he did come to Dallas in some kind of way. Damian Woody, I think you were the one who said that. So uh, what do you think about yep. that? If, if Kyle Pitts would move up that line. Green, I mean, listen, Dak, you just paid Dak Prescott $40 million a year. How many more weapons does Dak Prescott need this Dallas Cowboys offense need? You got three receivers. You got Zeke. The line is coming back. What? Playmaker, just not enough balls to go around. Like, everybody has an ego, okay? Everybody has an ego. Everybody wants their fair share of balls. You add this guy to the mix, somebody's going to be disgruntled in that offense. I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, but D, 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 we're talking, you're, you're talking the immediate right here. Now, you got to look at it from the long term. You, uh, uh, you don't know how long Amari's going to be here. You, we, we, we do not know how long Amari's going to be here. But I can tell you this also, it's much more difficult. I'm telling you as a wide receiver, it's much more difficult to stop a great tight end with a great wide receiver than it is to stop two great receivers. That's why we're seeing Kansas City in the mix every year because it's hard to double those two elements on a football field when you have a great tight end and a great wide receiver. And I know Jerry's thinking about that. So here's the thing, Michael. It, it, this seems easy to say that if Kyle Pitts were to somehow slip to number 10, that Jerry would take him. No one would have any question about that. But that feels unimaginably unlikely. Right. So what, how will you react on your coverage of the draft next week if Roger gets up there and says the Cowboys have traded all the way up to number four to take Kyle Pitts? What will you say? Hmm. I would say, <laughs> wow. You know, boy, they must have a lot of, uh, 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 a lot of confidence in, in Dan Quinn's ability to get this defense going. Because say what you will, this is not arena football. You're going to have to play some defense. You're not looking on in the game saying, we just, in arena football, you need one stop. Just one stop to win a football game. This is not arena football. You're going to need way more than one stop, and you're going to need a better defense than the Cowboys put on the football field last year. I don't care how great the offense is. The Kansas City Chiefs offense couldn't have survived the Dallas defense last year. So whatever you do, you got to get better on defense. And I think they got better just by hiring Dan Quinn and going back to their base. But but I don't know if that's better enough. You got to find some players to add to that defense this offseason. Michael Irvin, who's going to be a huge part of NFL Network's coverage of the draft next week, is with us here on Get Up. Well, let me let me go to another issue from the draft for you, Michael. We all know that Trevor Lawrence is going to be the first pick in this draft and thus the first quarterback off the board. But if you had the choice, as you have studied these players, which quarterback do you like the best next? Who do you think is the second best quarterback in this group? Let me tell you the part that blows my mind. Let me tell you the part that blows my mind. I, I, I get so, I don't know, crazy this time of the year 
where we start measuring men in shorts and we outrank the measurement in shorts than the measurement in uniforms. Blows my mind. Justin Fields has played some great football, some great football. And now all of a sudden we get it all put around in shorts and everybody start running around. A guy can run faster than you thought, throws the ball a little farther than you thought. And all of a sudden he starts shooting up the board. We've seen this every year in the NFL draft. We're seeing teams right now that are saying, wow, we bid on the shorts instead of listening to the uniform. With the Chicago Bears, Mitch Trubisky, we bid on the shorts instead of studying the uniform. And teams make a mistake with that. I like this young kid, Justin Fields. I like what he's done. I think right now, from what guys have done in the uniform, Justin Fields will be my guy. And here's the interesting part about that, Michael, if I could follow up. No one does better in shorts than he does. He's big, he's strong, and he's ridiculously fast, and he's got the strong arm. So that's not the reason he's falling. What is your perception of the reason that he might slip to being the fifth quarterback off the board? We're, 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 talk, we're saying similar things here, Greeny, because you're saying he looks good in shorts. Right. That means other people that they've been seeing in shorts look great, better than they thought. And sometimes when you expect someone to look great, say you go see them, you say, oh, that was a four. But I didn't expect somebody else to look that great. So I went in at a negative two, and now he's at a four. He's a <laughs> six-spot mover. And now all of a sudden, he's in front of Justin Fields. That's the kind of stuff that you deal with come draft time, and it's crazy to me. And a lot of teams have made mistakes, and we're seeing quarterbacks getting moved around, being chessboard, uh, on a chessboard. Uh, it, 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 it always blows my mind when we do this. There should be nothing bigger, no bigger, no bigger measurement than what you've seen on the football field during the college season. On the film. That's exactly right. And so, Damian Woody, again, we all know that that's not what's going to happen at number two. And then how about at number three? D. Wood, what is your expectation for all the conversation we've had for what the 49ers who traded all the way up to get there are going to take at number three? Day Damian Woody. Well, listen, I think the expectation is going to be Mac Jones. Uh, you know, Green, I've said that. I don't agree with that. I think when you when you give away all those picks, you want to go get go get a guy that – we, you win because of that guy, okay? Mac Jones is a guy to me in a similar way of, of Matt Ryan. I, he's going. I think he's going to perform great in that Kyle Shanahan system, but he doesn't have those those other tangible things that you look for in the quarterback that can raise your team another level. And so that's why, for like for me, I've always said that Trey Lance in my mind makes a lot of sense. Because if you're keeping Jimmy Garoppolo, this is a great opportunity for a guy like Trey Lance to sit a year, and you can maximize all that potential that's oozing out of Trey Lance in that system he ran in college. What do you think, Michael? It does appear they're going to take Mac Jones at three. What will your reaction be? First of all, I keep hearing people say that. Oh, they know who they want when they moved up to three. It doesn't matter if you know who you want when you move up to three. You better know three guys that you can use when you move up to three because there's no telling who goes one and two. And so, obviously, they know three guys they can use. They, they probably love Trevor Lawrence, and, and maybe they love Zach Wilson. And that third guy, maybe it is Matt Jones. But, but I love Kyle Shanahan, man. Kyle Shanahan's a phenomenal coach. He's a phenomenal coach. And if they've had consistency at the quarterback position that they're looking for, I think Kyle Shanahan will move up in that realm that we have Kansas City in. Looking forward to them being there every year. Now, good thing about Matt Jones, it, it, and we make comparisons about his processing ability to Tom Brady and these guys. He's so great at processing. He can still move. He can run a lot better than Tom Brady. So it's not like you're getting a man stuck in the mud if you take him. And I understand Kyle Shanahan. It's about Playing the game, shoulders up. And this kid plays the game well, shoulders up. Hey, Michael, sit tight with me for a minute here. We will take a short break. We'll come back much more with Michael Irvin as we continue again. Michael and NFL Network will be there in Cleveland next week for coverage of the NFL Draft. Sit tight a minute. We're coming back with Michael. Also a reminder that 